go, baby. We're frying. Oh my god, I'm frying. Yo, welcome back to the channel, everyone. And in this video, we're gonna be going over all of the new best settings to use in Black Ops Cold War Season 2. I have made some substantial changes to all of my settings, and I have been absolutely frying in every single lobby. These settings are perfect if you guys are trying to improve your aim, accuracy, KD, and just maybe securing your first nuke here in Season 2. Now, all these settings are going to work no matter if you guys are playing on the PS4, the PS5, the Xbox One, the Xbox Series X, or the PC. Now, with all that being said, the like goal on this video is going to be 600 likes. If we can get 600 likes in under 24 hours, that would be absolutely incredible. Also, let me know down in the comment section right now, what are your current sensitivity settings you guys are using in-game? I have something that you guys should definitely try out that honestly has completely transformed my gameplay. Let's get right into the settings. All right, now as you guys can see here, I play with an Xbox Elite controller on PC. These settings are gonna work flawlessly no matter if you guys play on an Xbox Elite, another scuff light controller, or maybe even a regular default controller. It does not matter, it all works the same. Now you guys can probably also tell that I run a very low horizontal, vertical, as well as low zoom ADS and high zoom ADS. Now, something I've been kind of working on as a player here in Black Ops Cold War is trying to steadily increase my horizontal as well as my vertical stick sensitivity as well as increasing my overall aim and accuracy. And this is something you guys are trying to do. This video is gonna be very important because I've actually changed some back end settings that are gonna allow me to be more accurate yet running a higher stick sensitivity. And I think that's what a lot of us are striving to accomplish in any Call of Duty game. Now, the reason I run a low sensitivity setting is because I want to be as accurate as possible, but still being able to turn on other players. If you guys are really trying to increase your aim and accuracy, I highly recommend you guys starting off at a 4-4 or a 5-5 horizontal or vertical sensitivity. Now, also, your low zoom needs to be on 0.7 and your high zoom needs to also be on 0.7. This is going to kind of alleviate and remove all of the unnecessary play you have in your right thumbstick. This is how you're going to be more accurate at ranges and I think that's where a lot of players fall short, myself including, especially if I'm running a higher recoil assault rifle or SMG here in this game. Now for the button layout, I run the tactical button layout. There is no there literally is no other button layout you should be running. Tactical is the absolute best button layout to run in Call of Duty. It allows you to get in and out of cover a lot faster because it's going to remap your crouch and prone button to pressing down on your right thumbstick, which is super helpful. You're also going to be able to drop shot a lot easier with this button layout, and that right there alone is why Tactical is the best. Now, everything else is going to be pretty much the standard, but you guys can see here, my aim assist response curve type is on linear. I want you guys to go ahead and change this to linear immediately if you guys have not already. It's going to allow you to aim stick map directly to aim rate. The aim stick curve is the same as the aim rate. It's going to be very important. It's going to allow you to be more accurate at both close range, medium range, and most importantly, long ranges here in Black Ops Cold War. Now, again, everything else is going to be disabled. I have my controller vi vibration disabled because personally, this is a setting that I don't like to have equipped. In my personal opinion, vibration on your controllers throws off your aim and accuracy, and that's obviously something you guys do not want to have on. Now, some of you guys might turn it off, like the vibration, and turn it right back on. Other people will literally turn it off, and it's never going to be turned back on. I have not ran controller vibration since COD 4, and I have no intention of turning it back on. Now, for everything else, is going to be on enabled. Obviously, target aim assist is enabled. But you guys can see here, target aim assist mode. This is a back-end setting that I've made that's honestly unbelievably overpowered. If you guys play on a controller, this is like cheating. Now, if you guys play in a high sensitivity and run focusing, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Focusing allows you to have stronger aim assist playing with the controller on console, 
or on PC. Now, if you guys already have decent aim and accuracy, this is gonna be like cheating, honestly. It doesn't make any sense how effective this is. You can lock on a target no matter where they are, especially at close and medium ranges, and you are not going to miss. This is amazing, and it's allowing me to go ahead and increase my horizontal as well as vertical stick sensitivity steadily as I get more used to it. So definitely go ahead and change your target aim assist mode from either standard to focusing, and you're gonna see an immediate change and an immediate boost in your gameplay. Now, everything else is gonna be pretty much off the bat standard. I have not went ahead and messed with any of this because there really is no need to. I don't think you should go ahead and change any of these settings because these are gonna be kind of destroying the back end setting as far as your controller, your left and right stick uh, threshold and input. You don't really wanna go ahead and touch all this. Everything else you want to touch is gonna to be pretty much for your aim assist as well as your sensitivity settings. So what you guys need to do is go ahead and change your target aim assist mode to focusing. Go ahead and put on the tactical button layout and go ahead and change your low and high zoom to 0.7 and reduce your say your stick sensitivity if you guys are really trying to improve your aim and accuracy here in Black Ops Cold War. Now for the audio settings, we're gonna take a look at this. These are gonna be very, very important. Now you guys can see here, my master volume is all cranked up. I have my music volume disabled and kind of reduced down to 70 because I don't wanna hear all the music when I'm trying to actually listen for footsteps in game. Now, if you guys have a headset, doesn't matter what headset it is. I have an Astro A40TR headset. You want to make sure you have your audio preset at high boost. This is going to allow you to hear footsteps a lot easier. This is going to completely transform your gameplay if you guys are not running the high boost setting. If you guys are wondering why people call me ears, it's because I literally sound whore. People like to say I use my ears more than my gun skill. That's because I can hear enemies when they're coming around corners, when they're spawning in, if they're running on wood, metal, it doesn't matter. Especially if you have on the high boost setting, it's going to be unbelievable how much of an advantage you're going to have over everybody else in the lobby if they do not have on ninja they're going to be heard and they're going to get destroyed so definitely go ahead and put on the high boost audio setting everything else is going to be pretty much the same as far as the audio settings go i've not really went ahead and messed with any of this and honestly i don't think you guys should definitely go ahead and do it either now for the graphic setting you guys can see here this is going to be kind of dependent on the type of monitor you guys have i play with a uh, 144 hertz monitor i have an asus tough gaming monitor which allows me to play at 144 hertz which i strongly recommend you guys going ahead and upgrading your monitors if possible because i used to play like on a 64 hertz monitor bumping up to 144 it's unbelievable and finally you guys can also tell I am playing on the 120 field of view with the affected um, ADS field of view. This is perfect. Now, if you guys are wondering how PC players have no recoil, it's because they're playing on 120 FOV with the affected field of view. It's gonna kind of closely map your iron sight or maybe whatever optic you have on to your field of view, kind of removing all vertical recoil and all kind of visual vertical recoil, which is gonna be super helpful in Black Ops Cold War. Make sure you guys go ahead and make the settings adjustments if you guys have not already. This is what I have been using since the start of Season 2, and honestly, I have been enjoying the game 10 times more. Everything else is going to be pretty much disabled and kind of standard across the board here for the graphics. These are going to be the absolute best settings to use in Black Ops Cold War Season 2. If this video does help you guys out and you guys end up improving your aim, accuracy, or maybe even dropping your first nuke, Make sure you guys absolutely smash like button the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications so you guys are notified immediately when I upload a new video. As always, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Deuces. If you guys made it this far into the video, odds are you are a loyal subscriber or you're really enjoying the content, and I cannot thank you guys enough. Now, if you guys were unaware, every single night at 11.45 p.m. Central Time and sometimes at 11 a.m. Central Time when there are updates, I am streaming Black Ops Cold War or Warzone live over on Twitch.tv. Now, if you guys want to follow me on Twitch and play Black Ops Cold War or Warzone with me, all you have to do is go to the search bar, type in EarsXBL, and my channel is going to be the first channel displayed. You guys can drop me a follow. Right now, we are closing in on 50,000 followers 
over on Twitch, which is absolutely incredible. So if you guys, like I said, want to play Black Ops Cold War with me or play Warzone, drop me a follow on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime and want to drop me a sub, that would also be greatly appreciated. Make sure you guys tweet me a picture if you guys are subs so I can drop you a follow over on Twitter. And like always, everybody, make sure you guys have a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever time it may be. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.